The Frame Center Podcast. Okay, so welcome to the Frame Center Podcast. Uh, we're back, and today I'm excited. We have Caitlin Litchfield here with us. Caitlin, since COVID. COVID she, buddies. COVID buddies, <laughs> yep. That's where, the, uh, that's where the friendship started, and she is a very, very talented. Oh, go on, uh, Very talented <laughs> Portrait photographer out of Marshfield. That's where I live. So that's how uh, we were uh, fortunate enough to meet. Thanks for coming in, Caitlin. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. This oh. is fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, yeah. It's pretty exciting. Actually, you saw last week we were, we were talking to Kel. You were right? with Kel. Yeah. yeah. Not as fancy. I don't have the fancy studio well, like Kel. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I didn't, you see, so you know, you know Kel. Well I, I do, I do. So we work together. We have a couple of clients that we work together with. Yep. And, you know, we refer people. Like, mm-hmm. I saw and he doesn't do other. weddings anymore. Yeah. No. No, it was, like a, no, big, it was a big no on the way. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's actually referred me, you know, some weddings and some. Well, there you, you go. Know. That's a little, <laughs> that's a little like, extra. Is yeah. this good? You know, am I these good people? Yeah. And then he'll send me some business and, you know, I refer people to him. And yeah. just to, he's, you know, supported us. And that's he's, good. he's I mean, great. You he's need to have people you have working relationships. Well, it's a little bit of a lonely profession. It can be, yeah. You know, I go to the photo shoots, <laughs> yep. take the photos, and then I go back home and I sit and I edit and yep. I don't have coffee breaks or colleagues. Yeah, or, unless you have a crew with you. It's kind of a crew yeah, or you work kinda... <laughs> for like a big studio or something. Yep. So yeah. I've actually worked hard to like build relationships with other photographers that we can bounce ideas off of. And, Which is good. You know, yeah. and have colleague, like actually have a colleague. Yeah. Um, and talk I know about you've done something like this before. What did you do kind of situation? Like, Absolutely. Yeah, or can... like kind of like talking about our favorite clients. Yeah. And people that we <laughs> love so much. <laughs> yeah. All, all, all of the amazing, as, awesome things that happen to us. Some <laughs> things that might not be as much fun, right? Exactly. Like stay away from this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does this person email you too? <laughs> Yeah, I imagine no, it lot. is out there, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, but, um, exactly. But yeah, there's good things too, though. So that's like you said, being able to come together, like you said during COVID, that must have been. Uh, yeah, I thought. I mean, so you were involved in that front steps project. Yes, yes. And you know, we were. I know that uh, Jen, my wife, had uh, you know reached out to you, and mm-hmm. you know we had the family portrait done. Exactly. Got so, that hanging by the door at I my think house. it's right as you walk in, yeah, right? It is. I was so proud that was my it, Was picture. this the whole thing where everybody was doing pictures out in the front of their house? Yeah, so during you know. COVID, a photographer on the North Shore started the Front Steps Project. Yep. And basically, you came out of your house mm. six feet or more away, <laughs> yep. and a photographer would pull up yep. and <laughs> capture you in your moment with, you know, your— your hair that hadn't been colored and people had beards and you know, it's a people, totally different type of drive-by shooting. It was that's a, different, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's no, a good kind. Reading. Yeah, that's, I like but, that. You know, some people came out and they had on, you know, they were funny about it. They had yeah. on like their their business on top, pajamas on the bottom. Yeah. Nice. They were all zooming. Yes, yeah. Everybody's uh, got their bunny slippers on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> some people came out in their Sunday best because it was yeah. Easter. Easter yeah. time. Oh sure, yeah. People came out like drinking Jack, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. like at nine a.m. Like. Uh, and they, but most people just came out as they were with their family, with their yep. dogs, with their pets. At their homes. At their homes, because that's all it was. Yeah. So when I pulled up, I, you know, Dave and I live in the same neighborhood. That helps. Yep. So <laughs> I did a whole day in our neighborhood. Yep. And Janet signed up. Yep. And I was far away because it was COVID. And Dave stayed. Stepped off the steps and I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> breaking <laughs> protocol. Back it up, back it up. Yeah. And he was like, hi, I'm Dave. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. hi. <laughs> He's like, do you want to work together? I'm like, what is happening? What is going Get back on? on the front steps, yeah. man. Yeah. I guess I, I guess I took, I, I wasn't great about protocols, apparently. I, well, it was the best thing ever because, I mean, we ended up, so we ended up doing. Yeah, we sent out a ton of her. Hundreds. Yeah. I, I mean, so basically Dave was like, I need quality photos. Yep. And I want to do Free Frame Friday. Mm-hmm. Yep. And do you want to give me some pictures? I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because as a photographer, I lost everything. Yeah. 
There was no weddings. There was no newborns. There was <laughs> yeah. no events. There was nothing. Yeah, good luck getting near a hospital or a wedding venue at all. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Anything. So, I mean, my entire business got wiped out. Yeah. And so, I always say I had a good cry. Mm-hmm. And then the Front Steps Project started. Yeah. And I actually ended up doing 300 of those. I was going to say, I was going to ask, I'm, yeah, 300. Three, just can... over 300. I call it the Tour de South Shore. Like, <laughs> I, I like that, yeah. Everywhere. Weymouth, Plymouth, Kingston, yeah. Marshfield, Situ. It. People are like, yo, I live in Raynham. I'm like, I, I can't direct a Raynham. <laughs> <Yeah. You know? laughs> yeah. Where is that? But the flea markets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so were a lot of those people clients prior? No. Or was some, most of them? So that's good. You got so a whole bunch of their, new clients. It ended up being 300 touches, 300 yeah. places where I found clients. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure they told people they knew about how they got this, and this was so, so nice, and that word of mouth spread is the best kind of and, advertising you can hope and for. And people said, you know, when we're allowed again, yeah. I'll call you. And yeah. I was like, yeah. So that was early 2020, yeah. March, April, May. And yeah, then by October, 30 years, three years ago now, yeah. yeah I know it's hard to believe, it. yeah. And then by like October, people were like booking outdoor photo shoots. Yeah. And then again, for the next year, you know, so some of those people have become my absolute best clients, yeah. uh, whether they got a free frame Friday or not. <laughs> yeah. um, but I loved it because during that, we were thinking of themes. Like, yeah. who are we going to give these frames to? Yeah. And one week we did all first responders. Yeah, yeah. first responders. I remember yeah. that because yeah, I have a friend who's a firefighter and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And yeah. still be on call no matter what. Mm. Doctors. Yeah. And teams, um, yep. I then one time we did all teachers. Yep, the teachers one. I remember that. Was that. And then we did all moms. Yep. And then we just did people that had a story. Because mm-hmm. you stand there and you're talking to them. And yeah. You know, they're like, I lost my job or, I, yeah. you know, I don't have childcare anymore because my babysitter got COVID or can't mm-hmm. come in. or So it was like just reaching those human yeah. humans. Yeah, there. we had, some, unfortunately, some from some losses too. Some people that were lost during it. So, yeah, we did. We know. had one. I remember this one I took. A little boy was standing out in front of this big heart in his <laughs> front yard. And yeah. the whole photo was black and white except for the red heart. Mm-hmm. and. His, his aunt or whatever had COVID and they hung that in her hospital room. And yep. they, so it was like really a powerful yeah. project. And yeah. It saved my business. Yeah. Free Frame Friday saved my business. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think. Nope, you, it did. I, <laughs> I'd, I'd give more, some of the credit to the Front Steps project. That's, I mean, which I, you know, I'd seen another photographer from Situ had, had been involved in yeah. it. I'd saw some of her posts. I think it was, uh, was it Katrina Bentley? Oh, yeah, and then yeah, I remember yeah, seeing yeah. yours too. Yeah. And I just, you know, it just seemed like such a great fit to like, you know. It made sense. Yeah. I mean, we just, we're still sending out frames every, mm-hmm. uh, every week and, you know, it's still like a fun project, but that one seemed great because it like tied in with that. It uh, just made sense. It seemed and like a such a great, great thing. And yeah. Where did like the fundraising go to from oh, that as well? Yeah. So I did them for basically no money. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Everyone's hurting. Yeah. But during COVID, what I realized was when the schools shut down, Mm -hmm. there are people that, that students that don't get breakfast or lunch, you know, they use schools for meals. Mm -hmm. And that really, like, really shook me. I was like, wait a second. Yeah. The numbers are staggering for that. It's staggering. So we donated the money to the Marshfield Food Pantry. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean, now what it, all the, the different photographers that took part in it, they basically picked their own, like, a charity that they were yep. working with. So yeah. some people did it a little differently. So what I did was I collected the money yep. and then gave it out. Yep. Some photographers left it to the person. Yep. Sure, like said, where they you know, want it. You send it wherever you want, but I wanted the most bang for your buck. Right, right? Yeah, I didn't want yeah. 25 bucks here and 25 bucks there. I wanted, like, $3,000 going yep. to one place. Yep. yeah. And that's that's what we did. And you know, Marshfield, there's a lot of kids in our school district yep. where we live yep. that you know they just need food pantry and mm-hmm. they need help and yep. you know they need services. So yep. that felt good to kind of you know even though I was struggling yeah. you know, through keeping my business alive. Yeah. It has come back tenfold, kind of pay it forward yeah, thing. Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, but I was just here bored, is like sending the thing <laughs> out. I mean, like I was like literally yeah. wasn't doing it. I mean, it was, it was fun, and yep. the responses that I got and like the thank yous. I mean, I mean those are and still like still to this day, like yes. some of the ones that I send out that I don't even like find significance in, or it's just like a cute picture, and like mm-hmm. people are just you know seem to be blown away by it. Well, I remember I got a free frame Friday. Yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> I, I, we waited. You and I was like, what is this? I'm like, oh, shoot. Did I forget to pick one up? Did Dave, yeah. like, did he, 
send it to me. Yeah. So I yeah. opened it up and it was a picture of me and my little boy on the back of a fire truck. Yeah. He stole it from my Facebook. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not I'm Yeah, the Facebook myself. stalker. Yeah, I'm we call this one. I'm a lot of photos because yeah. yeah. I'm the photographer. Right, exactly. You're always the one behind the camera exactly. and not in front of the and camera. And then the other one is a picture of my the four of us, my yeah. little family, and those photos never get taken down. Yeah. They are always up. You know, I never idea. rotate them through. That was the other thing with Dave. He's like, you know, so many people keep these things on their phones or they keep them on their yeah. computers. They don't yeah. have them up you know, readily available anymore that people can come into your house and walk by and say, oh, that's a great photo. Or when was this? Or, mm-hmm. you know, and unless it it's a, a vacation time. or something. Exactly. You know, you like know? what made me actually do the project, mm-hmm. a woman named Caitlin mm-hmm. texted me. She's like, are you doing the uh, Front Steps project? And I was like, uh, no. Yeah. I was like, I'm not doing it. I, I whatever. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, you know what? I'll just pop by. Yeah. And she came out and she was pregnant. Oh. And she had her two little kids. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this project. Nice. So yeah. I called my sister-in-law. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm up the street from your house. Come outside. <laughs> and she's like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I go, yeah. Yeah. She's like, I just dropped a blender on my foot. I broke my toe. I can't go to the hospital because it's COVID. I'm a mess. Those kids don't have shoes on. I go, come outside. Perfect. <laughs> Guys, like, come outside. So... She sat on her front steps and she said, but the rule is you can't post those anywhere. Yeah. Mm. I said, fine. Yeah. This is just for you. Yeah. So I edited her photos and I sent them to her and she's like, I will never forget. She said, I don't remember laughing. You can post them. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, because it was such a heavy time it for was. people. Yeah. And she came out and her photos are my favorite. She's yeah. laughing. The kids don't have shoes on. Their hair is a mess. Yeah. She clearly has a broken toe. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the staged uh, portrait shot staged. of, you know, a setup where it takes 10, 15 minutes, get everything figured out. You, Turn this way, minutes. do this way, yeah. do that. You know, it's Each just. photo shoot was just a minute or two. Yeah. I I just remember her saying, I don't remember laughing. I don't remember smiling. Yep. And I thought, that is so Yeah, it was a rare time to, to be doing that at home. <laughs> Everybody exactly. was a little stressed. I remember we were at home, working from home, and you were giving us projects like, yeah. find these people, find things about them. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> see some stuff around your own house that you think might need change, and we can shoot some videos on it oh and make God. some stuff. And it was, and then get some hockey pucks and some yeah. hockey sticks. We'll shoot, <laughs> shoot some <laughs> hockey pucks oh, at people. The, I remember the Zoom calls. Yeah. Oh, I got to see it. I got to uh, see it. Yeah. I shot hockey pucks. I shot hockey pucks. I'm like, I'm a left. He's like, oh, don't worry. We'll take care <laughs> He's of got it. sticks for everybody <laughs> out there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah no, the, and those friends, like, so I actually, just the other day, I was looking through Facebook and then I like, see somebody's post and then I see a friend. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's cool. It's nice to like see that those things mean enough to people that they're hanging around. Yeah. yeah. And the frames, I mean, some of the ones we did, you know, we went over the top on, on some of because you did a great job. <laughs> well, thanks. You did a great job promoting it too. I think people like your videos a lot better than mine. <laughs> no, you're the king of, you're the king of, what's up, Facebook Live? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, my kids hear that, and they, they instantly were, There's like, days. sitting there watching, you know, so. I had a cousin texted me, and she was like, you didn't do Free Frame Friday this week. Yeah. And I was like, what? And she's like, well, I look forward to it every week. It's yeah. like, kind of, we, like, watch you do Free Frame Friday, and I realized, like, People were listening and people yep. were watching. And, and I was, there were days where I was like uh, so moved and it was so emotional because people yep. would tell me stories. Yeah. Like they were like, oh, a human from the outside. Yeah. yeah. Well, could you have a minute to talk? And yeah. you know, we would talk and they would tell me their stories and nobody was telling me a story to get a free frame. They just mm. were looking for people to yep. talk to. Yeah. And some of those people, you know, I just, I felt so emotional about it or I would cry or whatever because it was, Nobody got a frame just to get a frame. Like, they had a story. Yeah. Right, yeah. You yeah. know, they had to, like, mean something to them. Yeah, people forget about the social element until they get locked inside doors and can't come out for uh, several exactly. months. Exactly. Forget what it's like even to stand in line with somebody at the checkout. Uh, right, <laughs> or, you know, socially awkward. Yeah. <laughs> nobody like, knows what to do, do. Do I stand back? No, yeah, do right, I get close? Do I, do? <laughs> do I basket in front? Okay. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> no, so. exactly. So now, are you mainly doing portraits these days? Or yeah. Like, just, like, family portraits? So, kids, you know, or? in the biz, October is a nightmare. Yep. It's a nightmare time for yep. photographers. So mm-hmm. October was the month that took me down this year. I had oh. <laughs> I had like 80 photo shoots or something. Oh, geez. Like, people's Christmas cards? Christmas that, cards, yeah. yep. yeah. Okay. Christmas cards and portraits. And, and say people want those portraits. autumn outdoor shots with the uh, the fall foliage. Exactly. Yeah, just before they're all gone in it's, the next week or two. And, and it's like one week. Yeah, exactly. Know? You have a slim like the, time period. Uh, the cherry blossoms in D.C. Exactly. You know, they, they're there and then they're gone. And of course, um, the weather barely ever cooperates with those days. Barely so. ever. <laughs> barely ever. So I actually took a little bit of time off December, January, February, mm. regrouped. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 
got my bearings back in. Mm-hmm. And now I'm gearing back up. Ready for, for the spring. spring. Yep, those outdoor, um, yep. <laughs> outdoor photo shoots. <laughs> Weddings. What's and... <laughs> really cool is that events are back. Yeah. And I know that we're three years post-COVID, but mm. that stuff has really been slow to come back. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, we were just at uh, North River last week, and I think that oh, they yeah. said that that was the first uh, yeah, the live in-person, event that they, yeah. you know, they'd had in person there. Yeah. They'd I mean, gone think to about so many, a year ago, I think yeah. the kids were still in masks. Like opening, yeah. Pr- yeah. Pr- pretty much yeah. at school. Um, that was funny because today's St. Patty's Day. I was yep. remember driving my kid to school and having to remember he forgot his mask because mm-hmm. we were listening to different Irish songs and yeah, step, music, step songs and things like that in the car. And again, so yeah, I remember exactly yeah, that he was year. still wearing masks mm-hmm. at that time. So. But people are starting to like say, okay, you know, we can have events. We can yep. have the bigger weddings. Although I do love a COVID wedding. It's like 10 people. Right. Yeah. 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 Love me a good micro oh, wedding. The, <laughs> the pick of the litter, the pick of the where's people. The, where was that tropical place you were going to shoot? Oh, like, I remember. Yeah. For all the people listening, I will go to any tropical destination <laughs> to shoot your wedding. <laughs> Everybody out if there. Need, if you can't find someone to travel to, uh, I will go. So actually, I love to travel, but it was St. Martin. Oh, very nice. So that was an interesting that was a one. Tough, tough one. That was, that was tough. To oh, it was so hard. Oh. Yeah, boohoo. Yeah. They rescheduled their days, wedding. Beautiful weather. I think three or four times. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was supposed to be here. And then we just did like a photo shoot up in Salem, just the two of them. And then it got rescheduled, I think twice. JetBlue was like, really, lady? You're <laughs> rescheduling this again? Yep. But we finally made it. That's a real, though, Jesse and Robbie Barletta, they're like just special to me because yep. kind of went through that together. Yep. And they were like, I remember the weeks leading up to their wedding. I'm like, I can't be near people because <laughs> yeah. if I can't get to St. Martin, yes. oh my God, yeah, they're not going to have a photographer. Exactly, and I'm like, yeah. so I was masked and I like... <laughs> I Full hazmat suit. Yeah, literally. Exactly. I'm like, I yeah. can't get sick. Yeah. You, then you were testing in and out of the country. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'll get stuck in St. Martin. That's fine. That's right. Yeah. Don't Darn. Worry. <laughs> I'll get COVID while I'm there. We knew a few people had that happen to yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in Bermuda for the uh, next six like months. Days. Oh, you know. But they, um, that was a really fun wedding. And I just, you know, I love to travel. And I, you know, this yep. couple was really special to me. Yep. But I'll, I'll go anywhere. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll go anywhere. I Destination weddings. Yeah. Destination anything. Yeah. <laughs> a, a colleague of mine, uh, he does video. His name's Tom. And he was supposed to go to the Galapagos Island. I'm like, oh, it's so weird, Tom. I didn't get my invite. Yep. It's weird. You know, your video, I'm photo. Like, yep. come on. It's supposed to be partners. Yes, right? exactly. We're supposed to help each other out. I'll give you the good stuff you give me. You yeah. know? Help somebody out. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And now, you also shoot for NDA, too? I do. Yeah. Yes, I love NDA. So speaking like of events that you're... Uh, mm-hmm. That, so I graduated from Notre Dame a couple of years ago. Yeah. A few. <laughs> oh, God. 21 years ago. So they're one of my clients now. Nice. Which I actually, I love, I love Notre Dame. I love the school. I love, yeah. I love the girls. Yeah. I love, I even go back there and I did, I just did like a TED Talk there. Oh, no kidding. About the secret lessons you don't know you're learning while you're there. Because mm-hmm. everyone's like, oh, you're learning all these like Mandarin. You're learning yeah. all these great. Yeah, but there are things that you don't know you're learning. Yeah. Mm. Like confidence or poise or, you know, all these awesome things. So. Yeah. I actually, this year, have shifted my business model a little bit more towards, like, corporate stuff. Yeah. You know, my kids are young, and, yeah. you know, I want to work, like, 9 to 5, yep. and, you know, not be out every weekend, yep. and I would have well, that's why shooting. Kel said he, like, gave up on the weddings, right? It's, it's too it's, much. It's, it's, He's missing on every single, single thing they were going to, yeah. all the dances and hockey mm-hmm. and anything else yep. that they had, so, mm-hmm. yeah. And you're at their whim, like— yeah. Well, I can only do July 4th. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> like, that's July 4th. Yeah. Or, Our big corporate events on the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will say I did do a wedding last year mm-hmm. on July 4th weekend. It was only because this woman's amazing and she's been with me forever. And, yep. and she's Irish. And, you know, I got to... You know, you got to support them. And <laughs> she's like my favorite human. But I've shifted my business model just a little bit, yep. you know, kind of doing more like Notre Dame. And yep. like I just drove down to Rhode Island and did headshots for Pepsi. And yep. like oh, that. cool. Yeah, it's cool. Like those are the kind of things I, I like to do. Yeah, I mean, it's good to have on a portfolio too for everything to say yep. that, you know. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that is a good portfolio. Yeah, yeah it's, just, you know, um, it's just a major corporation. It's just fine. a major it's, business, yeah, it's fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> but I still, I still love you know, my families and my babies yeah. and all that. But just like Kel said, it's, it's a lot. It is. You yeah. know, I'm one person. You guys know. Like, you're, yeah. I answer the emails and do the social media and update the website and take the photos and edit them yeah. and mm-hmm. do all the marketing and do all that. And I'm just one person. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot. Trying um, to do that even in a single day is, is impossible. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I mean. And the increase never stops. No. Which is, I am not complaining. Yeah. You know, it's like. No, it's exactly. I mean, bad. that's the thing. We've been busier than ever, actually. We were 
one of those businesses that happened to be the place that people needed to go during after COVID and everything because people weren't going vacation, so the money had to go somewhere. They were fixing up homes, redecorating. So yep. like interior, anything that had to do with the interior or exterior of the house, you know, those businesses all thrived. kind of thrived. And yeah. we had so many new faces coming in the door. People had never they go. Oh, I've driven by the business a thousand no, they said, times. Oh no, I, and, I heard you know. Caitlin's free frame Friday. Oh yes, that's, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you, you're yes, right. Um, you forgot um, about that. <laughs> But just having all those new people come in because mm-hmm. the, you know, quick Google search and we were the only, you know, well, you guys were people so in the active. game, you know. Yeah, you guys were so active on social and that mm-hmm. stuff helps. I and mean. that's how it all started because we had nothing else we could do. We're like, all right, well, we're going to post stuff so people can still keep our name keep in their doing, minds yeah. and, you know, yeah, and, exactly and get some new ideas on maybe what to do with their homes while they're stuck there, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it really played it paid off. And then no, this and yeah. then this came at the tail end of it is was, you know, yeah. it, it, Dave yeah. being able to listen to all the new podcast that had started up yeah, and gave him the idea. Or, you got a couple minutes. So might as well, yeah, might as well. Exactly. Start doing our own. But it, it works out well for us because then we get to, you know, sit down, talk with everybody individually. Mm. Sometimes more than you can get in the 15 to 20 minutes you're downstairs putting a frame order together. Exactly. I mean, you've talked to these people dozens of times, but I'm not going to get the in-depth stories that I'm going to get from while they're bringing in the photograph or the, mm-hmm. the pastel that they created or things like that. Well, it's like really that, like so. a personal thing too for you guys. Yep. Like when I brought in I have my, my, my Rolling Stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I have my Rolling Stone from 1980, and I was like, nobody's ever touched it. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> but it's also, it can't just be in this clear plastic sleeve yeah. anymore. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave it, right? Nobody's going to touch it, right, Dave? Because it's like, it's... Yeah. I've seen one of them at the um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. And it's in horrible condition. Yeah. Mine's in really good condition. Yeah. So I'm like, I Take that want, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You guys were so good with it. That was like an in, an interior thing. I'm like, you know, this is the year I'm finally going to frame my yeah. John Lennon. And, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. People Good finally had the free time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People didn't have the free time until then either. Because, again, you go to work, you come home, you cook dinner. By the time you, you got the kids and stuff done, the commute. The commute. Ugh. You're, it's, all right, it's 9 o'clock. Time to lay in bed for half an hour and fall asleep watching TV while I have a bowl of popcorn. Exactly. You know, it's like there's nothing else to do. And it's yeah. like, and again, so with no time off and nothing else, mm-hmm. people were able to, like, they started watching shows. I saw, I watched a lot of reaction stuff on YouTube for people oh, watching shit. shows or movies or things they've never yeah. seen. And a whole bunch of people started up that. So I was like mm-hmm. watching a lot of those people. And, you know, it's funny, same idea as like seeing a picture frame, same idea as watching a movie that I haven't seen in 20 years being reacted to someone who's never even heard of the movie yeah, before yeah, yeah. and seeing what someone from like now thinks of it. It's like, same idea. You yeah. know, it's just, it was a whole bunch of new stuff being generated. So it was, it was nice to have. Yeah, you know. yeah, I agree. Yeah. So weddings in Notre Dame, you're going to get some good pictures of Maya at some point. I think, well, yeah, because I'm already, I already like cornered her at the barbecue. Oh, no. I, was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, listen, I need your help. You need to go over there, stand there, look good, yeah. but don't look at me. Yeah. And she's like, okay. <laughs> she's so cute. She's such a Pay good girl. Pay no attention girl. to the person holding the camera. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the worst when you're like doing... I'm really good at doing candid, so I'm, mm. I'm good at catching people, but not like their mouth open and like, you know, yep. scallop wrapped in bacon hanging out or whatever. <laughs> and uh, Mid pop of the food. Mid pop of the food, yeah. right. And, but when people catch me, yeah. I don't take the photo. I walk away. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, sorry. Nope, you know, sorry. You, you, you saw me. You yeah. ruined my good candid Yeah, moment. it's kind of hard to do with, you know, holding the little shrub walking around yeah, and trying to right. have the I camera camouflage. Mask. Wearing the full ghillie suit, you know, with the camera. <laughs> it's a little tough to people not to notice you. But like you said, candid moments are the best ones. The ones that people impose for us. That's, that's most, what I'm good at, what, actually. What the people really bring out themselves in those photos. Mm-hmm. Anything you have to stage, like I hate my own personal shots being taken. I know. You know, it's well, like, it's like say about, cheese. I'm like, hey. Well, think about the other side of it for me. I'm like, say cheese. I'm like, this guy doesn't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's awkward. But if you catch me in mid-conversation with somebody, I'm having, you know, my genuine, you know, movements are going to come out. My my, my normal stance Mm -hmm. pose how I am is going to show up and those ones always look better than anything you can stage. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, exactly. You know. But you got to get creative. You're, like I'm always shooting no matter what. If I'm even during downtime or people say, oh no, if I'm at a wedding, yep. I go sit down and no. Yep. <laughs> no, because that's the one yeah. time the little, you the know, something's going to happen. Yeah, the yeah. little uh, flower girl's going to fall asleep in the middle yep. of the dance floor and oh, I'm going to miss yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. know, it's like you're, it's truly is like, that's why I totally get why Cal is like, uh, yeah, no. Because yeah, it's, it's really, it's, 10 plus hours. Oh, yeah. On your feet the whole on time, feet, moving shooting, constantly. moving. It's a lot. So yeah, the I'm one a, time you try to go to the snack table to get something to keep going is when something's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but I started, I do a lot of second shootings for weddings because oh, I love that. Yeah. It's like half the time, you don't have to edit the photos. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you just work with somebody else. Work yeah. with a partner. Work a yep. lot with Abby, Abby Del Senor, or mm-hmm. Vanessa Falcone. Yeah. Again, this little network of photographers that have like built up where we can refer. It's good that there's that other. many in the area. There's in, so in, many photographers. In, in that way, you know, yeah. <laughs> that you're like having to struggle for <laughs> who mm-hmm. gets what job. But the fact that, like you said, you can play off each other for information on how things are done, but also that you can split up jobs that are huge that would be yeah. or not that, able like, for you to handle on your own. Yeah, and you don't want to, like, you know, if you can't fulfill the job, you don't want to say sorry. Yeah. You yeah. want to say, well, I, here's a trusted colleague or, yeah. you know, here's a friend and yeah. she might be available. I actually just did it for um, South Shore Hospital. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, I think Kel might be doing, they, they I, have a huge golf yeah, tournament. Yeah, he said he should some sort of. Was it the walk uh, or he, something? Uh, something that was up near where you live because he was talking about uh, the like gala or something like that. I, oh, I Yeah. He, he, but they, like, they do um, a huge golf tournament. Oh, the one out on the airbase. Yeah, yeah. They have, oh. they have the big pop-up tent that they put up. They have yeah, the blue yeah. light stream, and I can see them from my backyard of my house when I take the dog yeah. out at night and just they crisscross. Yeah, I think it's Moonlight yeah. Miracles. Miracles. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't miss it. It's this giant white tent in the middle of a field. It looks like it's it just kinda just kind of just cool. popped yeah. up out of nowhere, well, but it's an awesome event for Yeah, we'll, so Kel and I will work together on some South Shore Hospital things. Can and you do the golf tournament? I'll do the golf tournament, but they do it at three courses. So they do Pine Hills both courses and then like Plymouth Country Club. Oh, okay. So I, it's below, huh? Yeah, hmm. and so I referred my yeah. colleague Vanessa. I was like, oh no, Vanessa's great. So you don't want to just say, hmm, Sorry, yeah. you know, good luck. I don't know. And it, well, I mean, like, look at something like that. And I think with a lot of stuff too with photographers is like, just find me like the right mesh of personalities. Like, yeah. you know, like when Michael asked me about, he's like, oh, you know, I mean, obviously I know tons of, know lots of, right. lots of photographers, mm-hmm. but like, oh, yeah, Michael. and Michael, I mean, and he's an artist. So he's like, he's you know, great. like it was important to him that like it be like a good match. And like, so that the photographer, like, yeah. you know, and I just automatically, I thought that you'd be the perfect one. Well, to thank sh- you. To yeah. Shoot he, and he, just, he was just me. like, yeah. Uh, he was great. You know, but he also, he wanted like somebody that would mesh with his daughter's with his daughter, personality yeah. and like be able to like draw out like the pictures that yeah. he want, you know, that he wanted and like to capture her. Not an all business, and, no nonsense yeah, I mean, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not just like, you know, I mean, right, it's not like, there, yes, smile, yeah, you know. go to like some, you know. <laughs> next. Yeah, next. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, yeah, school, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the next school kid, pictures yeah. when you're, you know, oh, when you're in like school. Like, oh, yeah. 30 oh, seconds. So watching your man one after the next. Like, yeah. You know, I mean. Well, he was, that was really cool because with Tay he had a photo of her on that same beach, but when she was like five years old. Oh, cool. And we recreated the photo, which is one of my favorite weird things to do. I love taking the same photo year after year, Mm -hmm. like, or after 10 years or five Mm -hmm. years or whatever. And she's sitting there like this, and she's got the cutest little smile, and she even wore the same necklace. Oh, that's cool. I was like, oh my God, I love this. Like, I love everything. And she, that was like, that's what's so cool about photography is that, you know, you have a style, but you also have like a a definite personality behind Mm -hmm. it where you can say, like, oh, you know, I think they'll mix well or whatever. Yeah. And, and I've I've turned clients away because yeah. they've asked me for something. And I'm like, you know what? I just don't think I'm your perfect fit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're asking me to— I want this dramatic shot with the wind blowing the scarf behind me yeah. with the— yeah, no, Can I do it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Are but it's gonna... just not my style. Yeah. No, I feel the same way here. I mean, we try not to turn people away. I know, but there's, right? <laughs> but there's also like, you know, there's the same thing. It's like— if you're going to have a better experience somewhere else because your personality, and I think we're fortunate because we have so many different personalities that work here. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm-hmm. somebody might, you know, want to work with Scott and, you know, but somebody else might not really gel well with, with, me, the, yeah. with right. his tastes. Yeah. And then they can work with somebody else that works here. You know, but so when it's ha- a one-person show, yeah, you're like, a, yeah. you either like me or you don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, I think it's so important. Like, you want it to be a good experience, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't want, you know, even if the po- photographs come out well, if it was like pulling teeth to get those photographs, oh, yeah, yeah. That's the last thing you want to do, like yeah. getting your frame job done, like it's so, so much more than the final product. It's like that right. day getting the pictures taken, mm-hmm. and I'm sure, like you know, for Maya especially, like Jen, like you know, part of the production is like the picking out the outfit and like yes. talking mm-hmm. to the photographer, and, and that's like a huge sure part that, of my job that people forget about or don't, or maybe they don't even know, but. I get emails on emails on emails. Um, should I wear navy or yeah, dark blue yeah. or cobalt yeah. or cerulean? I'm like, mm, I don't know, but blue, blue's fine. Yeah. Just I was supposed blue. to bring a second outfit? What? Yeah, yeah or like, even just like, <laughs> you know, I did bring a second outfit. Yes. Which one should I wear? And then we're in the parking lot choosing Oh, outfits. God, yeah. And well, there's nowhere to change around here. But so I, get the actually, I actually wrote a blog about it. And I have one blog and it's my most, I wrote one thing about it. And it mm-hmm. was like, what do I wear? Yeah. It is my most asked question as a photographer. What do I wear? What should I do? How do I dress? But I'm like, 
producer Elizabeth take note of that. We might be reposting your blog to us. I was going to say, yeah, we got, a lot of FA, to we got a lot of FAQs we got to fill in there. Yeah. So to, and if that would help somebody out, I'm sure that would be great. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a major, major question. And so my biggest tip is dress the hardest person first. Yeah. It's always the mother, by the way. Yeah. It's always the mom because the mom waits till last minute. The, the one who does everybody baby. else's stuff. The mom yeah. does everything else. So yeah. once you dress the mom, build everybody else around Around it. the mom, yep. Because kids are whatever. They can yep. wear plain. The husband's like, well, I would just put on whatever. They're only going to wear it for the shoot anyway. I'm wearing it for the shoot. Take it off. Yeah. Tuck yeah. Tuck <laughs> exactly. It's fine. Um, but I always say, dress the mom first. And then it's always this rule of color pattern neutral. So yeah. we would be pretty good. I'm a neutral. You're a color. You're a pattern. We, we yeah. look good together. Exactly. So you it's be, not all plaid across the board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you want to yeah. be... Um, Coordinated, not matchy matchy. Yeah, yeah. And, you and get, people get that. They're like, "Oh, look at look what I did! I did color pattern neutral." I'm like, "Very good." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. You did write a blog about that. I did. It's on my website. It's on the website. Yep. Nice. Yep. Kate, I have I have Kate one Lynch. blog. Kate and it's on there. Yeah, uh, so it's katelitchphoto.com. Kate. And Kate yeah. is spelled K-A-I-T, just to make it really complicated. Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> and there's a little tab that call, that's called blog. It is super easy to find because it is the only one on there. Yeah. Because right. I was tired of answering the same question. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm just going to write this blog. It's well, that's, 30 minutes and write this. That's what those are made for. It's that's like the exactly frequently it. asked question. All right. You're going to write more blogs when you find the time? I think so. So I would love to write a blog about like a newborn photo shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. parents come in and are very apologetic The do's and don'ts, the things you need, the things yeah. you don't. Yeah, or yeah. like they'll say, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry they're awake. I'm like, they're seven days old. It's yeah. okay. Or yeah. I'm so sorry this is taking so long. I'm like, a newborn photo shoot takes hours. Especially so if it's their first. Especially if it's their first. Yeah, because um, that, that hood's a whole other ball of wax exactly. compared to they have either everything or they are like so scattered they have nothing. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I think like, too, like I'll probably write a blog about like what actually goes into my side of the prep for a yeah. photo shoot. People think, oh, I just show up, take the pictures and edit. There is so much prep that goes into it that you value your time that way. I might have 14 emails back and forth with a client that is going to make your photo shoot successful. Mm -hmm. And if you have, you know, a dozen emails back and forth and then like, "Mm, we're actually not going to do the photo shoot. It's like, "Mm, okay, okay. That's all right. You know? Yeah, I'm working with a group right now where they've started off the and said, we're looking between this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. I need this color, this color, or this color. I've been sending them back and forth samples so that when they send their person in, they go, you have these three to pick and which one looks best in person versus exactly. having to go through, through this whole place. Whole, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, we yeah. could go through 3,000 frames and map combinations. Yeah. That's and that's all the thing, your so. time. And it's like, you know, you have to, I think I want to just educate people about that. Yeah. About, yeah. When you're in a service industry, like, what goes into that? You don't just show up and pop your picture in a frame. Yep. Like, I don't just show up with the camera. I had to charge those batteries and update the firmware and, you know, do, do all these things just to make sure yeah, that no, it just goes when I get there. I, I get that completely. So, like, when we do the installs, which, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. that's why we're trying to do the whole educational videos on installing pictures and installing stuff just to make it easier so people can do it themselves. Because mm-hmm. someone asks, you know. What's it going to cost to, you know, hang this picture? And it's like, well, I got to I gotta charge $200 because I got to, like, load up the van. I got to drive to you. It's going to take me five minutes when I get there. Five. But you got to be like, away from so here. Much in, yeah. And again, like, I'll miss two hours from the store. I'm like, at 200 I don't even want, like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it gonna, can be something as simple as this. Just two pictures side by side with six inch, uh, an eight inch gap in between. Yeah, yeah. that's and, hard, though. And people just want. It's hard for people that it's hard yeah, for Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's why we're it, trying yeah. to do all the videos because I feel like if the videos are there. I mean, obviously, like people need to hang pictures on the wall for us to sell more pictures, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, but having that educational piece, I think, is important because, mm-hmm. like, people I'm not look, I'm not looking for that two hundred. It's like it's not even enough. It's mm-hmm. and it's uh, it's a time suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is, and it's like, and then the like, yeah, I'm, it's a lot to them. I'm going back mm-hmm. and forth. Like, how many emails do I have to have you send to? Line it up so that there's like a date that works for both me yep. and the person whose house we're going to. And yep. it's generally like if it's something big, I end up having to bring somebody else with me. So yeah. it's now there's two now of there's us. Two people. So I'm coordinating with you. You're coordinating with yeah. somebody else that's going to help you. Then I'm coordinating <laughs> back with the person. And, it's, it's, and then it's, you it's, stop at Starbucks. That's 38 yeah. bucks. You know, <laughs> yeah, like. exactly. yeah. Not to mention the gas it takes to get to there. Yeah, you know? yeah. You're so on it's the whole like, day. You know, yeah, no, out of your business. That's not a good business. No, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's a We fun, want to help. It's just. It's a fun service in a lot of circumstances. But then like someone calls up. And they're like, you know, they didn't even get the frame from me. Yeah. And they just want me to come to the house. I have an eight by this. ten. They want to pay me like, I'm like, I'm just find a kid down the street. Like this morning a lot. Like, like, yeah, yeah, right? like, 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 I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, sorry yeah. I can't help you. You don't have a son in law or something no. that can enter? <laughs> I've had people do that. They'll say, you know, another photographer took this photo. Can you edit it? And I'm yeah. like, I uh, know. Yeah, yeah. That's it's a new so new. taboo. Like yeah. if a photographer comes to me and said, I took this, I can't figure out how to yeah. do XYZ, that's one thing. But a client 
or yeah. some, well, you know, she didn't really do X this or yeah. that. And I'm like, oh, I can't touch that. Yeah. You can ask them. Yeah. Yeah. Ask permission. I was gonna say, you reach out, you give me a written letter and permission with their letter. I'm not or touching that. Exactly, no yeah. way. Like that. Yeah, hey, can you frame this other guy's frame? You know, <laughs> or, can you, or can you hang this other yeah. guy's frame? You're like, eh. I mean, I mean, in it some, some it circumstances, it's all right, but it's you know, it's, it's a little it's, funny. It's, it's weird, you know. Yeah. But it, it is. And people just don't understand those things that go into it. The and, little nuances of a business yeah. that you know, there's so much time that that is just not what people think you do. Yeah. So I think that the educational pieces, like the blogs, like videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should do some videos explaining these oh, things. I mean, what are those? Well, actually, are they blogs? Are they, is that not that is? we're not that we're talking so much about COVID, but I did that during COVID. Yeah. I did newborn photo shoots mm-hmm. in my driveway yeah. on <laughs> wicked hot days oh. because the baby has to be warm. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought a baby doll, a little toy doll, yeah. and I would show parents how to swaddle the babies to get them wrapped and they would up. Sit so next they would, to me, yeah. Yeah. and we would swaddle up the babies and I would say okay now loop it around okay yep good and then loop it around okay good and then they would put the baby in the basket Mm -hmm. and then I would step back and I'm like okay can you adjust her hand up a little or move this and so I have one video so you create yeah you had to have of me showing how to swaddle a baby and but yeah I think I should write some more blogs and I because I have a lot of things that people ask I'm sure well I think the educational piece is important but it also it explains you know I think people get the consumer gets a little bit of an understanding of what the value what they're getting. Why are you priced yeah. this way? Yeah. Well, I've been in business almost a decade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the equipment. Yeah. And actually, it's funny. I was shooting about mitzvah last week, and the rabbi said to me, Yeah, your camera can't make any noise. Yeah. And I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's a good thing I just bought pr- two brand new cameras yeah. that I could turn all the sound on. You have the yeah. click button disabled. It's yeah. Total, total <laughs> silence. Now, for me, I love to hear that click. Yeah. I, that's 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 your reassurance that the photo it, got taken. Marketing. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. But I thought, wow, there's a value that I can do that. Yep. You know, another photographer. Yeah. Because I have all brand new equipment, which yep. you know, there's value there. There's value in knowing which beaches are good yep. or what light is right. Yeah. Or that's why we try know. to have as many frame options available for every price point that somebody's trying to come in here mm-hmm. for. Just we don't want people being having to feel like they came here for nothing that they can. Yeah, get they came the thing all the way over need. here. Or yeah, no. like if you book a photo shoot with me and you go through the whole thing, and then mm-hmm. I'm like. Mm, I don't really, I don't know. This location's not great. Like, I literally know every location. Mm-hmm. Yep. And if I don't know, I go there before. Yep. So yeah. So, to be like, oh, okay, let's, yeah. like I showed up to this bar mitzvah early because I was like, all right, we might do some outside. Mm-hmm. It was rainy. Yep. Let's find some coverage. Yep. There's value there. Yeah. Yep. You know, there's a lot That's of value real. there. It's experience, right? Like, so I, I I think I've heard something, you know, it's like when you're learning, people, they want to give you more. And then when you master it, and you can go in and do it in no time. They like, want to give, give you less. It's, you know? yeah. it's, it's so it's, it's bizarre. true. It's so bizarre. Yeah. Like, oh, let's help them. They're just starting out. It's like, yeah, yeah but what about me? I you know, do my education. And, yeah. you know, I, I'm always like, I call myself like a photography nerd. I'm always like learning how to do things yeah. and Googling things. And what's the equipment and what's this? And just always... <laughs> Teaching yeah. myself. The guy that gets paid fifty dollars an hour and takes you know twenty hours to do the job, or the guy that can gets paid five hundred dollars an hour and get mm-hmm. doing the <laughs> one hour yes, and exactly. be done. You're yeah. not paying for. It's not that I'm more expensive. It's that I, I know spend all I'm that doing. time knowing what I'm doing to yeah. get the job done. It took me done. ten years to figure out how exactly. To do You're paying for the you. experience. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's really it's important. Amazing. It's amazing. Just the education on people, but you know, then you also have to be a human. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you have to still be kind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we know everybody's got situations and things that they come into, and we'll price out the thing that's going to look the best for someone mm-hmm. We're going to, like the way that I see this one looking it's going to bring out the most in your picture and then if we have to work down we'll scale back you and we'll play out. around mm-hmm. we'll put things on hold until if they want to think about it you mm-hmm. know we'll save everything for them we're never going to pressure somebody into like yeah. no if you don't want to do that just get out of the store yeah, you, know, right. you, know, <laughs> you, want, you just want a black frame get out yeah, no, whatever. I mean, yeah, no that's not how you do this no museum kind of stuff, glass you know. oh, oh my god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well if you want to see your picture you know it'd be nice to, you know, well, I remember I mean, saying that with on free frame Fridays, I would turn it around. I'm like, guys, this is legit. Yeah. I'm like, look, it's not like you push those little buttons and the back comes off. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is real people. Like, yeah. <laughs> and actually, your frames are all over the world, are all over the country. because oh. um, a lot of my clients move. Yeah. So oh, like, so they took them with them. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. So. And, or like they say, oh, that's the front steps that you know during the pandemic yeah. or whatever. So like that, there is a something to be said about in preserving the image. Like yeah. you spend. 
$700 on a photo shoot, you want to preserve the yeah. image. Yeah. yeah, it's not something you're going to leave behind in the house when you go. Right, and you want you know, you know want the best glass and the best frame and the best whatever that's going to fit in the space that it belongs. Oh, so. so many people have brought in pictures that have just faded out from, you know, again, back in 70s and 80s, yeah, people I mean, weren't thinking know. about preserving a photograph or a newsprint or things hey, like that. can you get a picture off of a glass? Uh, sometimes you just scan and, re, you know, mm. you have to reprint stuff. Mm-hmm. I think like, sometimes they can come off. Oh, but not all, it not. all depends. I think yeah. a kid's spilled the juice on it and it got yeah. all stuck in that. Maybe we'll just keep it in. You've seen that a couple times. It well, it sounds like it's it part of the memory. Sounds like it has some character. It does get yeah. some character. The frame is like, you know, from Target or something. I don't know. It's oh, this yeah, old yeah, frame yeah. that somebody gave me. And I was like, oh, I'd love to switch this out. Mm, stuck. Yeah. Second, we're just going to keep that one in. That's we, we got people that we know we can take care of that. That's yeah. no problem if we have to. So, <laughs> so, so the new project is uh, yeah. raising hearts. Yes, I'm yeah. so excited about this. So, you know, we talk about your, you know, your job that pays you, and then you've got your passion projects. Yeah. And I joined Raising Hearts last year, mm-hmm. and it's been amazing. So, we're a nonprofit that yeah. supports families with autistic and neurodiverse children yeah. through programming and mentorship. So, my oldest boy is autistic, and we went to a sailing event last year. Yep. And we had had a, I would call it an unsuccessful summer. And <laughs> then we went to this event. Yeah. And they had a, like an A-frame tent out front, and it said, Welcome Autism Families. Mm-hmm. And he said, Look, Mom, we can go there. And I was like, oh, that is so shocking to me that mm-hmm. he maybe thought we couldn't go other places or yep. he, you yeah. know, it was a, it was, it was a, literally a sign and also a sign. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know, I'm here, I'm going to join this organization. Yep. You know, what do you guys need? And we have grown an insane amount. Like we had a Halloween event in October and like 700 people came through. Yep. <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, oh, it's a- like, oh my God, what's happening? And, you know, there's just such a need for it. Yep. And it's not that we want pro programs for kids. If you're autistic, you can go to this program. It's like, we want kids that are autistic to be able to participate in the existing programs. It's it's and a, be it's there. A, it's at least becoming much more, I would say, not well received, but known about. Like, you know, before it was, like I you said, there was a lot of the that. you know, they're ostracized, put in their own separate little situations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was reading a study that it was like one in forty four Americans have autism. Okay, so this is funny because I just had the same conversation last week, last night with my partner, and mm-hmm. it's that's old. That's an old oh, fact. Oh, it's an old fact? What is so it? it's is not it, yeah. one in forty four, it's one in four families. Oh, one yeah. in four families now, huh? Yeah. Well. Which is insane. Same. I have family members with it. So yeah. yeah. So and actually, just last year they changed it from Autism Awareness Month, yeah. which is April, mm-hmm. to Autism Acceptance Month. Nice. I like which that I thought that was so forward thinking mm-hmm. because we're all aware. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're, we're all aware, but what are we going to do about it? Yeah. You know, how are we going to make people feel included? Yeah. And that's what's cool about raising hearts. Even if you don't have autism, mm-hmm. you're welcome. Yeah. Because how can we say we're inclusive and then be exclusive? And yeah, exactly. No, I'm sorry, you don't, you don't have, have autism, you can't come in. Can't you know what I mean? Yeah, so, exactly. And it's also cool to have, you know, you know, mentorship for the other children, mm-hmm. your know, peers. And, yep. and it's great to, you know, have the parents, you know, have be colleagues, uh, not colleagues, but, you know, peers to each other as yeah. well. Yeah. So it has, it's like sailing base? Or is it so like- we do all different programs. So that was one of them. We do sailing. Okay. We do um, inclusive kick soccer. Mm-hmm. We have, we actually just started a super siblings group. Mm-hmm. So if you have an autistic brother or sister and you're what's called neurotypical, Mm -hmm. it's a support group for that. Mm. Because that's a little lost population, a little forgotten population. Like, my little boy is neurotypical, and so obviously his brother is autistic, and Mm. he struggles. Yeah, Mm. He struggles with having a brother with autism. Yeah. And then we have... Finding that common ground. Kind of, yeah. yeah, Like, you know, they have a different relationship. One rules for one, one rules for the other. Kind kind of, yeah. And like, why isn't this fair? Yeah. Yeah, He said to me, Cam's using his autism again. I was like, oh, that's funny. That's a funny little word. We got to talk about that. Put that on the put that on the background. We'll talk about yeah. that later. But no, we do all sorts of different programs for kids. We have sensory play up at Cheer Factor in Hanover. Yep. We're working on hockey and in all these things. But really, a huge component of it is our mentorship program for parents. Yep. Because you know, when your child is diagnosed with autism, you are told he or she is autistic, and then you go home. Yeah. Yep. And you're like, oh yeah, now what do I do? And then Google is such a dangerous and scary dark hole. You spend two years going through all the testing and everything, and then what do you do afterwards? And that's actually a God. We're talking a lot about COVID. But, like, 
that's a COVID problem too. Yep. Yep. You know, there's so many families that are backlogged. Mm-hmm. It's going to take them, you know, 18 months, two years to get a diagnosis. Now their kid's two years behind on therapy and then therapists, you can't find therapists, yep. and now they're two years behind on that. So it's like your kid could be eight years old before they get anything done or yep. whatever. Yep. But we are just, you know, we're hustling. We're out there. We're working and we're South Shore based to yep. start, mm. but always looking to grow yeah. and, and go forward. And Collaborative um, efforts between other groups and things. Other sure, groups, I'm sure, and then, yeah. You know, the founder, Candace, is from California. So mm-hmm. that's always where her heart, you know, yep. looks to grow. Yeah. Grow and go. And, you know, it's just been such a passion project for me. And I, I feel very fulfilled. Like, you know, yep. October killed me as a photographer and yep. then Raising Hearts, you know, Spring fills my bucket. Yeah, yeah, brings my bucket yeah. back up. The time of hope so coming I, back I, again. I'm guessing yeah. we might have some free, you know, some, some content for Free Frame Friday in the well, next few months. That, yes, you know, coming, we will. So we have, so Dave, you know, you guys are the best. And one of our silent auction items is a photo shoot with me. Yep. And then one of our images from our photo shoot will be framed by you guys, which is such a cool prize. I mean, because a lot of people, like you said, they get their photos and then they don't print what them. Do they do don't do it? anything. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Or they, you know, they just don't know we'll how do to this put it together. <laughs> yeah. It goes behind the bureau but for the next 20 years. Yeah, yeah exactly. Or yeah. if it's, you know, an auction item that they win and then they can come here and do that. And then I'm also... Which is much more personal, too. Because so then personal. you, like, okay, I can give it to you framed, but what if that frame doesn't go with your home and or you don't like it? Or, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. I'm sure you guys reframe a lot of things. Occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's in a day or so. We, um, I'm working on a project. It's called Faces of Autism. And basically, it's showing that you don't know what autism looks like. Mm-hmm. And so it'll it'll be a whole black and white series. Yep. And I've already started it. Yep. Um, so if anybody out there has a child with autism and they want yep. them photographed, I would love the opportunity because one of the things that is so hurtful and gets said to me all the time is, yeah, but he doesn't look autistic. Yeah. And that is so uh, yeah. So, yeah, so, awful. Yeah. So I'm um, Dawn that works for us. She did it. I'm, I'm trying to remember what she called it. She did a project. It was, you know, similar, not mm-hmm. with the autism, but with addiction. Oh yeah. 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 And, yeah. yeah. Faces. And she basically did a black and white photo series and it was mm-hmm. all people that were, you know, either recovered or like, you know, were touched by addiction. You don't know. And it was, you know, it was, it's powerful. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. It is. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, I, I think I think it's powerful because you look at the the collection of photographs and you just you see people that you relate to and you realize that yes. you know they it, look like me they look like my yep. sister they look like my dad they look like my neighbor they they're every walk of life and that's really true with autism too because you don't have to only live on our street in Marshfield to have autism yeah, like, yeah. you can be rich or poor or black or white or yeah. live in South America or mm-hmm. you know Africa or Canada it doesn't matter yeah. It doesn't matter if you're educated or not educated. Yeah. It's all, you know, autism. It's such the everyone. symptoms are such a wide variety of, of different variations of what falls into what part of that exactly. spectrum. Exactly, and it's, it's and it, people think you know the spectrum is being linear. You yeah. know, I'm either left or right. You're in the middle. Mm. It's just this circle, and you might have these functions and these functions, and you know, it's just kind of this scatter chart. Yeah. Yeah. Of things, and you you, know, you might not know. Well, like my son is really really smart. Yeah. And so. Like, yeah, but he, you know, he's smart. He can read. I'm like, oh, but yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything, you yeah. know? Yeah. And so he kind of can slip through the cracks a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just because he doesn't, just because yeah, he's not, verbal. You're, your problem is not big enough. Right, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, there's nonverbal, verbal. There, I mean, it's it just so, there's a whole thing of it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Racing Hearts has just been such a huge project for me. And, yep. I, and I love that I can incorporate my photography into it. Yep. So even our website, which yep. is RaisingHearts.org, that's all my, those are all my photos oh, on nice. there, which okay, feels so, good, yeah. you know, like. I get to photograph, like, that's something I want to photograph. Mm-hmm. And I love that. And mm-hmm. it's so cool to be able to, you know, kind of blend my passions that way. Which well, it is seems fun. like, a, do you have a home or, like, are you somewhere where you're going to display the show at, at a certain point? So, I don't know, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge Dave. <laughs> Actually, I would love to display them and just bring awareness. bring awareness yep. and do, do a fundraiser or just, it doesn't even have to be that, just, you know, an awareness raiser yeah. to yeah. people. And, you know, I want people to look at the photos and I want people to say I did I would never have known mm-hmm. yeah yeah because you don't and it's people used to think oh it's just boys or it's mm-hmm. mostly boys it is yeah, not no, <laughs> yeah, no. it is boys and girls mm-hmm. and you know old kids and young kids and you know I actually just took this really beautiful photo we were up with explore pediatric therapy yep. they do all outdoor 
therapy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Rain or shine, snow, yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. So we were up at Ware River Farm and uh, one of the older girls just was hugging her mom mm-hmm. and she saw the photo later and she, she started to cry. Mm-hmm. And she's like, that's my special girl. Like, that's my girl. And, yeah. you know, like that to me is... So rewarding. Yeah. That is so rewarding. Yeah. Not only as an autism mom, but as a photographer. Yeah. yeah. That I was able to capture, like I saw it in real life, yep. but then I was able to capture it, and then the mother, I have the chills. Yeah. <laughs> then, then the mother felt it too. Yeah. So the whole thing came full circle for me, yep. and that to me is where I want to push my business. Yeah, towards. well, like you said, even when your friend came out, wasn't expecting to laugh, you know, it's yeah. the same yep. idea. Yeah, she's like, oh my God, I can't believe I laughed. Or yeah. this mom was like, I can't believe I can never capture me, those or, kind of moments yeah. at that time when, mm-hmm. that, you know, because mm-hmm. it's sometimes. Or like if a child, you know, doesn't have great eye contact, but then they. Yes. I catch them looking up. I'm like, oh, yeah. She's like, yeah. oh, my God, look, she looked at me. Or, yeah, majority yeah. of the time, you know? your head down. Or tilting, whatever, yeah. You know, they just... Engaging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So when you so catch that engagement moment, it's... It's really cool. It's very, very special. It's yeah. very special. Yeah. Well, I was hoping we were going to plug the event, but it's already sold out. Yeah, it April, is, April, yeah. April, so. uh, well, we can still plug it. Yeah. People yeah. can still sponsor <laughs> yeah. or donate or just... Always great to hear. Yeah. Always, yeah, you know, we'll follow just be along. Aware. Be aware it's, of it, um, yeah. It's called um, Hearts for Autism. And it's at Black Rock Country Club on April 1st. It is sold out. Yeah. And what's really cool about this is I think this might have been, you know, a vehicle of COVID that yep. we are able to do the silent auction all online. Yeah. So even if you can't make it, yep. you can still participate and support and yep. donate and, and all of those things. Which is what sometimes keeps people from donating to those things because if they can't be there the whole night and things get called, they get passed over like, and there's the next win. person yeah. what's the point of me putting anything in and, and mm-hmm. you know even if it's for a great cause it's you it's know it's like well I can't I'm not going to win but yeah. you can do this right from the comfort of your house and we'll That's put great. the link out on our yeah, what's the um, website, website for that one so raisinghearts.com and it's yeah, hearts it's every, the, the uh, excuse me raisinghearts.org yeah. .org okay. um, yeah, there'll be a, there's a link, a link um, so under the events tab it says hearts for autism yes. gala mm-hmm. and it's that's raising hearts and hearts is spelled h-a-r-t-s because mm-hmm. our founder's last name is heart heart nice right. yeah and no, is, is this the first over. the first annual gala it's the first annual um it's great that it's the first one and it's sold out right off we the couldn't bat. believe that's it because yeah. we were like at first we were like oh we'll do it you know at this little venue maybe yeah. it'll just be the two of us yeah and then we were like oh my god <laughs> yeah i remember when we sold the first two tickets it happened to be to a client of oh mine. okay yeah. and i called my partner i was like we sold two tickets. Oh my God. Right. I can't believe we sold two tickets. Yeah. Oh my God. What's happening? And then all of a sudden I called her. I'm like, we just sold 70 tickets. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> Stop selling the tickets. Yeah. We sold out. <laughs> we can't do anymore. And it wasn't like we sold out for 50 people. There's 200 people coming. That's awesome. Yeah. And actually I'm psyched. We have the smoking jackets playing. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. I love them. They, They're yeah. great. Yeah, so I, Andy. Yeah, Andrew, dude, I, yeah. yeah. I went to school. I, oh, did you? was in Noel High School. With me. So we ran into each other. a little other. bit older than me. But maybe a little, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ran into each other at an event. I was photographing. And he's like, how do I know you? Yeah. And we went back and forth the entire event, all the places we might have been. We finally figured out we used to drop our kids off at the same daycare. Oh, <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, that's Of all I the places, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, oh, I remember camp with this curly hair. But yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna be awesome. We have we also have a live auction and Candy O'Terry from Magic 1067. Oh, nice. She's hosting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's amazing and so supportive of Racing Hearts. And mm-hmm. it's just it's really exciting just to see. Like we looked at a bunch of the tickets. I'm like, do you know this person? She's like, I don't know that person. Yep. Mm-hmm. Random people buying yep. tickets. We're like, oh, this is great. It's not just our friends and the- right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna be a room of people you already know. You find someone to take photos for you. Okay, so this is so <laughs> awkward. Yep. I posted on my social media the other day. I was like, yep. well, this is awkward. Yeah, I'm in search of a photo. Photographer. <laughs> and I was like, well, this, I, I have a whole new respect for my clients that mm-hmm. are looking for photographers. Yeah. So I ended up finding somebody through yeah. um, my videographer friend was like, you know, you can hire Chris. And, yep. You're going to take a couple pictures still? Well, here's the thing. I made a deal with the photographer. I said, listen, you don't even have to edit them. He's like, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, just, I need literally 50 photos. Like, yeah. 50 photos, grab the night, and then come and enjoy and sit and, yeah. and you know and have a good time and he was like you really don't want me to edit these I go do not edit them yeah. just send them to me I'll edit them because that's what takes the time yeah, yeah. again the education you know he's a photographer so he knows he's like oh my he's god like, I'm totally done. he's like I'm totally in <laughs> yeah and I said going forward if you want me to just photograph things and not edit them you hire me because you know <laughs> editing is the most daunting part of the yeah, whole process exactly but it is so hard to find a photographer yeah I was like well if I could hire myself yeah. and then well that's good at least you'll be able to enjoy the event for the first thing you know, this yeah. first inaugural event. There, uh, yeah, so. it's funny because in front of the camera. Yeah. I, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. oh, there we go. Another. Not great. Not great. <laughs> I um 
when I did that sailing event, there was a photographer there yeah. and I finally got a photo of me and my little boy and I was like, oh my God, this is how people feel. Mm-hmm. Like, there's never any photos of me. I have to hire a photographer, which is hard to find. Yeah, set um, the timer. It's, I was going to say, it's usually a tripod and a timer. Yeah. <laughs> and then every, and the lives are threatened. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> don't move, come back. Don't, exactly. <laughs> don't touch your hair. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. No, we're, we're really excited. It's going to be an awesome event and, you know, you can follow us on social. And, oh, it'd be you know, great, yeah. yeah. Actually, there's actually one auction item up so far, and it's me and you. Nice. Because I had to test it. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll put me and Dave's yeah. auction yeah. item up nice. there. So that that's going to go for a million, I think, yeah. Dave. We are money. invaluable big, people big, here. Yeah. Big, big money. <laughs> I'm sure. Big money, I'm sure. Big names on the South Shore. Exactly. Awesome. Well, I think Scott will put everything up. We'll get a, yeah. We'll get with our social we'll media people and we'll make sure they get those yeah. up when we put the posts up to get some people to link right over to the we'll, the site. That'd be love great. That. And Thank I you love guys. the uh, the idea of the show, the faces. Well. So I'm we'll so see, excited see what about we can that. do. Yeah, do a show or do yeah, it, do, do an I event. Think, I think we can figure something out yeah, for that. That I, seems like a project that would be fun to work on. Mm. And yeah, I'm sure. Like I said, well, I mean, I get the feeling that there might be some good content for some Fridays in the future. But. Watch out for Free Frame Friday. Dave and Caitlin are back. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> the so second coming. came off the front steps, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I freaked you out. Freaked me out. I, that was, you know, an interesting way that you, you know, like everything, and, um, you know, we always, we actually got to still ask one question. All right, what is it? We, we, we one question. We, we, uh, I'm nervous. We go to this, but everything that's in people's houses is always like a story behind it. And, mm. you know, I we have that picture that you took that, you know, it's hanging at the house and there's like the whole story behind it. And there's mm. like that whole like relationship too now that like that's where I'm, you know, that picture was where I met you and like, yeah. you know, they're kind of like a, you know, good working relationship, good yeah, you know, and I you know that. now we're you know lining up the next photo shoot. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, you know. I know Jen just caught. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I think I heard She's stuff like, in passing. Saturday like Saturday in October, I'm like, oh, okay, you're girl. like this is booked, <laughs> that's booked, this month is booked. Yeah. This month. How July about? stinks. What are you guys doing in 24? Well, I was gonna say, what's 2024 looking like? Yeah. <laughs> But we always like to, we like to ask everyone about, and you might have already touched on this one, but what's something you have in your house that's framed and what's the story behind that? Well, I have two. Yeah. You know, my John Lennon. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, yes. I mean, it's older than me. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. But I actually have something else that's special. What do you got? So it is a double rainbow. Oh, yeah. And my uh, double rainbow that I caught over Rexham Beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, excuse me, over Burke's Beach. Mm-hmm. And it was during COVID and the rain rolled in yep. and the family, we were shooting and they're like, oh, look, a rainbow. Yep. And so they ran back to their car and I ran back to the beach to catch the rainbow. <laughs> yep. And it ended up being a double rainbow. Oh, neat. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And it was really powerful for me because Danny Sheehan yep. had just yep. passed and I was one of his photographers. Yes. And... Part of his thing was, you know, rainbows and butterflies and ladybugs and french fries and Doritos and ketchup and, you know, all these things. And so I named that photo Danny's Double Rainbow. Yeah, I remember that one. You guys had helped me with that and framed that. That was one of my frames. And we ended up raising $3,500 for uh, Tommy's Place. And so every time I sell that print— A portion of it goes to Tommy's place yeah. and uh, in Falmouth. And I have a little corner of my house that has my little desk. And yeah. that's the photo that's hanging above yeah. my desk. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, and it's just such a hopeful photo. And there's some birds and the way it just, it's the story. Yeah. Well, I mean, more so is, than the photo. Yeah, I mean, it, it, more than the photo. I mean, I, I'm sure every time you look at it, it's, but it's a, the like, image that evokes it. the memory. And that's exactly. the memory. Yeah. It's like a certain yeah. smell can bring back. So, kind of, yeah, know. that photo. And I just, you know, it's funny because I was at Fenway Park photographing an event and a ladybug landed on me. Yeah. Mm. At Fenway Park. Right, yeah, of all places. So I quickly took the photo and I sent it and I said, look, I got a sign from Danny. And, you know, I just kind of thought that that was so cool and the fact that I, it was raining and I ran back and this double rainbow came and so I called that Danny's double. Danny's double rainbow, which I... I I mean, that's like the type of things that we, you know, I keep trying to touch on with people. It's like, you know, someone might look at it, they might be like, oh, that's a nice photograph, Mm. but oh, I like that photograph but then there's just so much more to it, you know, especially for, you know, for yourself, for yourself. That's one of the things I love about the job is I hear so many different things from so many people when they bring stuff in. I like to hear the story behind the piece of like, oh, where'd this come from? Yeah, it could be just something as simple as, oh, yeah, me and my brother. Exactly. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a picture. You know, it could be something so cool. I had a lady bring me like a whole bunch of these just old ticket stubs all just wrapped in rubber bands. She's like, I'm like, what are these from? She's like, oh, these are my husband's. He doesn't know I have these. Don't tell him. I'm like, (laughs) 
Oh. Oh, so we're okay. doing that. Okay, okay so we're doing like, that. She goes, just kind of mix them up on the, just like they were like somebody threw them on the floor. I'm like, or. <laughs> or hear me out. <laughs> let's <laughs> make on. it so we can read every single ticket so that if you ever wants to see it, but they'll be behind the glass and we can set now them by day. Cool. We can set them by area. We can set them by genre Color, of music. Yeah. What do you want to do? And then we finally just came up with just like, doing the colors so we went from like like a gradient exactly a gradient oh, of color just because cool. some tickets were purple some were orange or yellow and they're you know they're printed from end to end so we just and they're torn in half in some That's places cool. yeah. but we just did it and it just came you know we fit tickets here and there to kind of you know like Tetris you know yeah, just putting it all it. together and it just became these cool pieces and he loved it he, yeah. thought, he goes and the rest of the time they were, in his, they were wrapped in a rubber band in his sock drawer but you know I was like and then when he came in to pick them up with her he's like oh this was from one and I'm hearing all the stories yeah, from all the things that. And and somebody like, comes into your house and like, oh, what is it? Hey, exactly. you were at that concert? Otherwise, oh, I love Hollow yeah, Notes. Right yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That was one of them. I love uh, Hollow Notes. That's why I said that. I, I love Hollow Notes. Somebody would have it. just had them, again, in his sock drawer with a rubber band. Nobody's ever going to see them. And then if something yeah. ever happened, they'd probably get tossed. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now they know if it's framed, somebody meant something to somebody. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's a great way to show it I love that you can frame off, anything. You know? Like, that's what's so cool. You can put anything in a frame and every time we think we've seen everything there is somebody that throws us a curveball you know (laughs) I actually took a picture this will be my second thing that it will eventually be my prized possession my grandmother lived in Southie for nearly 100 years Mm -hmm. and after she passed to sold her home but I happened to be driving by and I stopped and I took a picture of her front door Mm -hmm. and I have that picture but my family doesn't know I have it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to gift it to each one of them. Oh, cool. And it, yeah. has our, it has my yeah. maid name. It has our our name on the door and it's Graham's door. Yeah. yeah. You know, and she, you know, is Irish and, you know, the doors <laughs> of Ireland is a thing. Yeah. Yes, but it this is. is. This is our door. There you go. You know, this is, oh, that's a this great is idea. an important door mm-hmm. and it's this blue and it's all dirty. And, yep. But it says uh, our maiden name across the front of it, uh, across the door. And it's just, it's just such a cool photo. That's a great idea. And our family, yeah. I, nobody knows I have it. Yeah. Because the door's yeah, gone now. Well, now they'll know. To this. Yeah, yeah, they'll listen. They'll know. <laughs> and I'll say, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Just stop listening at one minute. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get moving, yeah, exactly. gotta get moving on this project. Yeah, yeah, right I, got the, I got the picture in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's awesome. great. I awesome. want to thank you for coming in and you know thank sharing you. all this with us. It's always some great information. And yeah. like it's I said, we'll be me. sure to make sure to get uh, everybody in touch with you yeah, we'll for get the new event to make sure that people can get right to it. Yeah, thank you. I think maybe we'll lift your blog, post it, you know, repost oh, it, you on, can repost, repost my it on blog. The yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Go get these future blogs up. <laughs> I think that we, I think we have a photography blogger that we oh, can like this blog so we can start putting up exactly oh, I love and inspire you. And on the. The artist page on the on the website there yes. that'd be great so well thank you guys for having me this is awesome Our oh pleasure. no thank you for coming and in I think, yeah. I, plenty to talk about i think we'll you know i think we can find probably get you back like you know like a lot of these yeah actually yeah. after the it's event it would be great to hear about what happened for the event even just a follow-up even if it's just mm-hmm. a short one that we could put up just a little you know yeah. thing would be great to hear well, about when we sell so. your auction for a million bucks that's true million, that's, gonna that's be a, a great that, way we could see how well that goes post in itself yeah we could talk about that for hours, Dave. Right? So, <laughs> but no, that'll thank be great. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for joining us, and I want to thank everybody else for listening at home, and we'll see you next time. See ya!